A warning tonight about who may be coming to your front door, and you'll only hear it on News 4. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Steve Savard. I'm Courtney Bryant. The alert comes from a man who says someone posed as a Spectrum employee. He believes the man is casing houses. News 4's Kim St. Ange is live in Tower Grove South with the crime alert. Well, this guy claims he worked for Spectrum and uh, he was going door to door. And that was what was so bizarre about this, because in this video we're about to show you, it looks like he's legitimate. He even has a polo that says Spectrum. The homeowner tells us tonight it was some of the answers this man gave to his questions that made him think he was phony. You got some television and internet services there? Yes, we already have Spectrum. Oh, do you really? Home yeah. surveillance video captures what Steve Gannison believes was a setup at his Southwest Garden home. People are trying to get a look into your house to see what you have. Right? Is there anything worth stealing in there? From his experience as an electrician, Gannison says salespeople know which homes yeah. use their services. That was his first clue something was off. So we kept asking questions. Do you have an uh, idea? Um, I just have my tower. <laughs> They're supposed to be giving me a badge. I just started like two months ago. So. A Spectrum representative tells me employees typically don't go door to door unless someone has an appointment or a late charge on their bill, and that all employees should have a badge from day one. Gannison says the man's car was another red flag. It had an old tattered Spectrum magnet. It looked like it just kind of threw up there real quick. And most of the folks that do this make sure that their vehicles are well marked, their people have their IDs, and they have everything they have says Spectrum on it. Gannison told the man he was going to call Spectrum himself. That's when Gannison says the man went to his car, sat there for a few minutes, then drove off. How right. easy do you think it would be for somebody else maybe to fall for this? Oh, I think it'd be really easy. Uh, people are naive and everybody wants a good deal. Spectrum says if you're worried maybe someone's not so legitimate, you can go ahead and call them and ask them to confirm their identity. Live in St. Louis, Kim St. Ange, News 4.